Hi there again everyone, or hi there for the first time maybe, I don't know. But I'm wrapping up February's month of reading today. Um, and I just want to show you guys exactly what I read, what I enjoyed, what I might not have enjoyed, all that kind of good stuff and just let you know basically everything about what I read in February, like I just said. <laughs> so without further ado, I suppose I'll hit screen record on my tablet, show you up here what I read. So here is the spread for um, everything that was on my TBR, like from my TBR game in February. Um, I think only the top three or four, like in the top row, the, were the ones that were in my TBR game. The rest are just things that I wanted to read that were on my, um, like, arcs list and all that kind of good stuff. Things that I was reading with other people. So... Um, the only thing on that screen right there that I didn't read was Scorpica. Um, it was an arc that I just didn't manage to get to, so that will we won't come across that in my spread. Everything else is in there. <laughs> so the next, the first thing I read in the month was a book called Sorrowland, which is a book by River Solomon, and this is my spread for it. That's by River Solomon. Sorry, not Solomon. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's a book about a person who goes out um, into the wilds, basically from a ba what's basically a religious cult, um, and she or they, I don't think gender's much of an issue to this person, but they go into the wilds and are pregnant with like twins and gives birth in the woods and has to bring up their twins. Um, on the wild having escaped this cultish mentality and then there's like supernatural stuff involved and kind of this person changing into something different kind of like a metaph metamorphosis type situation going on um, and yeah it was really good I gave this a four and a half stars I really really enjoyed it it's not like nothing I've ever read before um, 100% never read anything like this before um, and there's lots of twists and turns and I had no idea where it was going whilst I was reading it so I yeah <laughs> I was very surprised by this book and enjoyed it a lot um, it's got lots of heavy topics um, gender's not really an issue with our main character but I think other people are confused by them and like they don't really gender the two children that they have so people are all like oh you've got a little boy or girl and I don't think they really care <laughs> um but yeah uh it's when they go into like civilization and stuff for the first time it's like the kids have never known it before and so they are just like whoa what's going on kind of thing and they have to be told how to act and behave um so they don't get in trouble because not only is it about cult mentality and them escaping, it's also about being black in a very white centric society um, and kind of having to survive. But it's basically like America today and how America has been towards black people in general. It's horrible and we see that in this book. So lots of very current events going on in this book and just very hard hitting stuff so just a warning if you want to read Sarah Land it's very good though. Um, next I read Circe by Madeline Miller gave us a five stars it was fantastic it was such like a breath of fresh air to see a book written in the perspective of somebody you might not expect so normally it's the Greek hero and you're following them or the Roman hero whoever and you're following them and what they're doing and it's very male centric I suppose but then this is from Circe's perspective she is a witch in Greek mythology who um, we see from the very uh, male centric side um, Odysseus just slept with her and she kept him on the island because she wanted to keep him on the island blah 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 but we see this from Circe's point of view which was really really cool and we see like all the events 
before what we've seen before. So in the Odyssey, we just see Cersei when she's with Odysseus, and then she's forgotten about really. Um, whereas this, we see like her history. So we see um, where she was brought up, um, what they thought of her, um, what being a witch means, and what this magic means to the gods. Why she was cast out to this island, and then the events that take place on the island, and even past Odysseus. Like Odysseus is part of the book, but he isn't like a huge massive focus. And I thought that was really cool. It's all around Cersei and what she did. So I absolutely adore this book. Couldn't give it anything other than five stars. I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> and then after that, I read a arc of Bluebird that I received on NetGalley. I gave this four and a half stars. It's a um, LGBTQ plus sci-fi novel where we travel in space we go on planets um it's kind of like a chase um the main character's on the run uh trying to figure out how to save her sister how to be with the woman she loves how to do lots of things without being caught and it's like a faction system so there's three factions ruling different planets and all that kind of stuff um, and they all want to be the best and they all want to eradicate the others and all that kind of stuff and each faction is under certain laws and are supposed to like basically worship the certain god each faction has a different one they've got like thousands of years of history um, and they're in this war that doesn't really matter anymore but they're still fighting it just because they want to be the best <laughs> um but it's very very good and i really enjoyed it they've got um a woman loving woman lead character who's got an already established relationship and it's a very beautiful relationship and i love it <laughs> um yeah i adored this book and i would definitely say go ahead and buy it because it was fantastic it's probably one of my eight favorite arcs that i've received so far it was fantastic so definitely <laughs> love this book and then i read light from uncommon stars by rika akoi I, I, I might be butchering that name i don't know um the premise of this book was beautiful and i really really liked it but i did only give this three stars unfortunately it was a good book and i liked it but certain themes of this book didn't correlate or coincide wonderfully and I feel like the two story arcs that were running side by side didn't click very well together. And then I feel like certain parts of it kind of just, I don't know, it felt like some of it took away from the story. And I wouldn't look at the story like proper, like the sci-fi that you would expect. Because I went into this expecting sci-fi because I read it as part of the Interstellar Book Club. And we read sci-fi books over there um but this isn't really that it was like i say a good book and a lot of people might like it a lot more than i do but i i think i initially gave it a low four stars but i lowered it because i kept thinking about it and not in the best of ways um the music aspect if you like classical music and like violin and all that kind of stuff you might love it because you might understand all the terminology better than i did but even then like, like I say, certain parts of it just didn't click. I liked the way the story went, but towards the end I was just a bit fed up of it not clicking very well. So, yeah, just wasn't the best for me, I don't think. So, moving on, I went ahead and I was over the course of the month of February reading Immune, which is a fantastic book by Philip Detmer, um, who has a YouTube channel as well. Um, Basically, I, I've actually read cover to book cover a non-fiction book for the first time ever. <laughs> and it was fantastic. I enjoyed every second. It made me laugh, which I was not expecting. Like, I laughed a lot learning about the immune system, which never would have thought possible. I would highly recommend this book. Like, I went through school and everything, learning minimal science. Um, we just copied onto textbooks, really. Don't tell anybody <laughs> um yeah we just we didn't like the teachers just let us copy out the textbooks because we went and like it was only top set that really learned much or people 
who selectively wanted really, really badly to do science for the future. Otherwise, it didn't really matter what you did with science. So I just got to vocational and like I say, that doesn't bring enjoyment to a subject to me, just copying out the textbooks. It's very bland, very boring. And so in school, science wasn't the subject for me. I didn't enjoy it because I didn't learn anything. But reading this was fantastic and I, I found out that I do like science and that <laughs> it could have been a subject that I really enjoyed at school and I missed out. So, or at least biological science, I suppose. Um, human body is a fantastic thing to learn about and I now know about the immune system. I rated this five stars. It was so good and just I feel like this is the way we should learn is through laughter and jokes and like it sticks in your head so much better and like the images we get in this book as well are fantastic and memorable and I feel like things stuck so much better reading this than any other textbook or learning material I've ever really received it was it was so good and I would love more non-fiction books like this if you know any similar to this, please let me know because I would love to read some more and figure out what kind of non-fiction I like because I don't know. I genuinely don't know. So in the comments if you know anything similar. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on. I read at Mari and the Wright Brothers. Another fun I think February was a great month of month of reading. <laughs> Amari and the Night Brothers was fantastic. I gave it five stars and I'm excited for the second book to come out. Um, I really enjoyed the magic system, going to like a summer school type thing and how um, <laughs> your eyes have to kind of be, be you can't, your eyes have to be opened to the magical world um, and like everybody's blind to it except the people who have been brought into it selectively or if they were born into it I don't know but it was it was very good things happened that I didn't expect um and I just I really liked the friendship I really liked just in general all of it it was so good and how um the main character's gift is so different to everybody else's and so she's kind of pushed to the side because of it people don't like her because she's a magician and not like the rest of them basically because she's more powerful that's the reason like everybody's more kind of jealous of her power and scared that she might use it in a negative way so that's why but i did actually i really really enjoyed this and i, I can't wait for book two to come out to see what happens next <laughs> uh, moving on i read the an encore of roses which is basically like an epilogue for um Dowry of Blood, that's the one. <laughs> uh, this was fantastic. It was just what I needed. It was like, Dowry of Blood was given in the perspective of one character. And so we followed a specific bride throughout the book. But then we got the perspective of um, Lexi, which is the male bride. And it was beautiful. Lovely ending, really enjoyed it. Short story, didn't get free online. If you've read Dowry of Blood, Go find this online. It's fantastic and you'll love it. <laughs> um, gave it five stars, obviously. Moving on, I finally finished Fires of Heaven by Robert Jordan. Um, unfortunately, this was my least favourite so far. Um, again, it's, it's still three and a half stars, which is good. Better than where it could be. But, I don't know. There was just a lot of explaining and... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like Wheel of Time is just kind of dragging on at the moment and I'm hoping it picks up again soon <laughs> but it's still very good I'm still I'm still quite enjoying it I think it's just the constant repetitiveness of men versus women and women versus men and them hating each other all the time and the friendships to me don't does anybody even really like each other in these books I don't think they do I think everybody just hates each other or tolerates each other <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> um, but I am liking where things are going, story-wise. I think it's just the main characters, at least the main three guys, 
I don't really care that much about. I feel like when I'm following the women, um, especially Nynaeve, I'm getting on with the story a lot better. It's just how it is with me. I like their story more than the guy's story. <laughs> so that's just how it's going. Anyway, I will continue Wheel of Time and let you know how that goes next time, I suppose. <laughs> Um, so then I read Sarah J Maz's House of Sky and Breath, which came out in February. I gave that four stars, um, which I think is the same as I gave the first book. Um, if you know the ending, you know the ending, and I loved it. <laughs> but I don't know, it, it, it did the same thing again, where it took a while for me to get into the story. And I just, I don't feel like I care too much about the main couple. And I feel like I prefer... The story of um, the main character's brother, which I'm not going to say much because it's a sequel, but if we had a st story from his perspective I feel like it'd be cool and better. Um, but I do like where it's going from the ending of this book and I'm hoping it goes well. I am excited to see what Sarah J Maas brings to us next in this world, but I'm enjoying to see what happens in Sarah J Maas's future books. And that was everything I read in February. So I think I did quite well. So here is an overview of everything I read. Nine books, or eight and a bit, I suppose, because one of them was just an epilogue. But I counted it, because <laughs> it's still like a short story from the world. Um, so I think I did really well in February. I'm finally picking up again and getting into the swing of things with my reading. I think it's just because I had a really, really good month in February. And I enjoyed the books that I read mostly, apart from maybe one or two which weren't even that bad <laughs> so yeah still enjoying it <laughs> and I've picked back up with my reading which is fantastic so the this is an overview of everything I bought in February if we just want to have a quick look things I purchased um these are mostly if not all digital so I don't have any of these books physically and my favourite book of February was Circe. It was a fantastic read and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I wasn't going to choose um, Encore of Roses as my favourite because it was so short. Though it's very much up there, it was fantastic. <laughs> um, to be fair, quite a few of them were up there. I really enjoyed Immune as well, so um, they were all very potential best books of February. But I think Circe just about made the top spot. <laughs> um, and here is a quick sneak peek at um if you haven't watched my tbr video go ahead and watch that that was the last video i posted but yeah this is a quick sneak peek at what i want to read over the next two months because i've now split my tbr game into like i'm going to do it every other month instead of every month so that when i do get a lot of books it doesn't matter so much because i've got too much to read two months to read them and if even if i get a small tbr I get to mood read a bit more because lately that's just something I've been wanting to do <laughs> um, and so hopefully I'll be able to do that and by doing that I'll probably hopefully hopefully finish up some theories as well so thank you all so much for watching February's reading wrap up I had a fabulous month I hope you did too happy reading TTFN bye bye